how you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Samach Kimmel, Daf 63 of Masech the Kiddushin. Friends, yo friends, yo friends. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice. I have a little bit, I have a case of the schnuffles. Do you remember, um, do you remember what the Gemara said in Masech the Gittin, what to do when you have the schnuffles? Maybe, Sharna, do you remember what the Gemara said to do if you have the schnuffles? I don't remember. Probably have to jump up and down a few times with some uh, crest. <laughs> Probably with some crest. And then, uh, I, don't, I don't remember. Alright. Well, today we're studying Dav Samach Kimbal, Sech the Kiddushin. Well, so, uh, more Kiddushin stuff. Um, yeah, today we're going to be all right. Let's see, where? When is it? Oh, dang, man, I got the schnuffles. Oh, man, I'm going to be schnuffling. Yeah, like, just like that. Oh, man, I'm all schnuffly. Um, but anyways, friends, we're going to start getting into some, like, Yvomis, like, friends, Yvomis. Remember Yuvamis? I mean, it does make sense that in Kedushin we'll talk about kind of yuvamis things, right? Marriage. And then marriage sometimes leads to Yibum. And, but today I think that it's, we're not quite there yet. So today we're doing some Kedushin stuff, you know? The schnuffles. All right. So we're going to start, I think, if I remember correctly, we're going to start, and I hope, I hope this is where we're going to start. I hope this is where we're going to start. And Daf Samach Gimel Amoralif. About halfway through the Amud at the Mishnah. Isha. A fellow says to a fellow, You are betrothed to me. Almanas Shadaber Shildon. Under the condition that I will, I don't know, put in a good word for you at the Sultan. Or I will, uh, I'll work for you for a day. If he went and he and he and he put in a good word for at the at the uh, sultan, or oh man, do I, oh, I don't want to sneeze, but I could probably contain it. All right, so far, so far, no sneeze. Bossy McAfee, or if he did work for her for a day, so Mikudeshes, so she's Mikudeshes, Mlav ain't Mikudeshes. But if he doesn't do what he said he was going to do, so then she's not Mikudeshes. So now says the Gemara, Amr is Shlakish. Says Rishlakish, Vihu, Shenosun la Shve Puto. Oh, friends, you hear what Rishlakish says? That these things, right, under the condition that <laughs> I'll speak to you, uh, you know, put in a good word for you at the Sultan, or that I'll do some work for you <clears throat> for a day. He's not being Mikadisher with those things, right? He's not saying, hey, look, I'll work for you for a day, and then instead, in lieu of payment, you'll just give me you. And we'll be uh, uh, mikudeshes, and everything's going to be great. So it's it, it's not like that, right? It's not that he's being mikudesh or with the value of his work. He's being mikseserish lakish v'ushenosun l'shvei pruta. That no, he's he say he's giving her a pruta, and he's saying I mikudeshes li with this pruta almenas under the condition that I will also. Work for you for a day, for example. So again, um, she, he's not being mikadesh her, you know, with the value of his work. He's being mikadesh her with the shvei pruta, and the, and they'll be, uh, you know, betrothed. She'll be betrothed him on the condition that he subsequently <coughs> works for her for a day. Wait, why do we have to say that? Can't he, after all, just work for her for a day and the value of his work will itself be the payment? Will be the, the, the case of Kiddushin? Veratani, after all, we learn in a Brisa. I feel like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fighting sneezes all, 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 uh, the whole, the whole thing. But alright, you know, okay, you know, you know, you know, it's, we just started saying Mashavach Murdegeshim, transitioning into, uh, winter. You know, it's perfect time to get a cold. So we are Tanya, we learn in the Baisa. Bishai Shekav Shekavti Khala Khomer. Right. That 
you know, he, he, he took her on a donkey ride and comes time to pay. And he says, you know what? Instead of, uh, you know, or whatever he says, you know, I took you on a donkey ride. You know what? Don't pay me. Keep it for Kesem Kedushin. Shoshavtech Bukar no Basvino. Or I put you on a wagon or on a boat. And he says, you know what? Don't pay me. Instead, marry me. Ain't a Mikudash. She's not Mikudash. <coughs> because, as we learned recently, that would be considered like a milve, like a loan, right? Be, uh, let's go back to for a second. Bishashe Arkivech al But, <coughs> as payment for, um, that I will take you on a donkey ride. Shoshivech. Or that I will put you on a wagon or on a boat. So then, Mikudashis. Then she's Mikudashis. Friends, do you remember? I mean, this is going to come up in a few lines now. Um, also, wait, let me sneeze one second. So as I was saying, um, we learned the other day about the concept, and, and as I also said, we're going to see in a few minutes, about the concept of Yeshno Lishirus Mitchilava Adsof, or Yeshno or Eno Lishirus El Basof, whatever it's called. Right, meaning, the, you know, when, when you hire somebody, right, are they racking up a bill the entire time? In which case you're basically, you know, it's like you're, the, the, the employer is like lending out the money up until it's time to pay. In which case he then pay, uh, no, the, the fakert, the, the, um, the worker is basically, um, you know, building up a bill, which he's basically loaning to the, um, employer throughout the pro, through the work. Then at the end, uh, the employer pays him and he's like, he's like paying back a loan almost, right? So if you say that you're like racking up a bill all the while, so then when you get paid, you're basically getting paid back like this money that you as the worker laid out for the employer, for the hire, um, all, all, all along. As opposed to if you say that, no, you're not, uh, you know, uh, building up a bill the whole time. Rather, once well, the once the work is done, at that point there's a there's a value to be paid, and and you get paid. So, therefore, in this case, when he says, "Look, I gave you a, I gave you a donkey ride, you owe me money, right?" Meaning, you know, you, there's a loan, Kilo. There's this money that I ba- value worth a certain amount of money that I essentially loaned you. You need to pay me back. So that wouldn't work. However, if in advance he says that as in exchange for that, I will take you on a donkey ride. And if we say, that, that you only get paid at the end, you're not accruing a bill, you know, the whole time, rather just at the end, once, once it's complete, now there's a value that needs to be paid. And if in advance, he's already kind of stipulating that in lieu of that payment, marry me. So then there was never an actually like a loan because it was immediately waived as payment for the for the kiddushin, and therefore we say that it's acceptable. So again, let's read this brayse again. So we are we learn the brayse. Peschashe kavtich al chomer she hoshavtich bekarno besvino. As as in exchange for the fact that I took you on a donkey ride, or that I put you on the a, 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 a wagon or a, or a boat, eno mikudeshes. In that case, she is not mikudeshes because it's bad some alone, right? There was value that he was owed, and he's waiving that, and that's alone. But in exchange for that, I will take you on a donkey ride. That I will put you on a wagon or a boat. In that case, Miku as long as he works it out in advance. Okay, so therefore the question is, why is Rishlakish explaining our, our Mishnah, right? Where he says, you know, I'll do work for you. Why does he also have to give a Shavapruta? Can't we say, like we say over here, um, you know, like by the wagon or whatever, that it's the work, you know, why don't we say in our mission, it's the work itself that he's being Mikadosh with. And if you're going to say, oh, well, in that Brysa also with the wagon or with the donkey ride, also, no, 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 he's not being paid for doing these things. He's not being Mikadosh with, you know, by doing these things. He's being Mikadosh with the Shavar Puta. He's giving her a Shavar Puta and then saying that I'm going to take her on a donkey ride. But v'ha b'schar kom. But it says b'schar. In exchange for the reward, in exchange for payment, in lieu of payment, I will be Mikadosh with it. V'od, Tanya, we have another b'risa that says, Shev imi b'tzavso v'kadesh loch. Right, if, if a fellow says to a fellow, 
hey, why don't you come sit next to me? And if you sit next to me, I will marry you. Schok lefonai, you know, uh, entertain me, record the lefonai, dance in front of me. Ase kedimu sazeh, make like this edifice. Shaman im yeish bo shvei putim mikudeshes from alavein mikudeshes. So we evaluate how much value he has provided her by sitting with her or by you know doing a little dance, <coughs> making moves. Um, you know how much value did he provide her, <coughs> and if it is. And Shavu Puta is worth the value. So then she's Mikudeshis. If not, then any Mikudeshis. Vichitemo hachinam b'dioiv lo shvei Puta. And if you say, well, he also gave her a Puta, right? He gave her a Puta, and then he did a little dance. Ve'ah shaman also kamer. But it says, Davka, we evaluate how much value he provided by doing a little dance. So to have to do Rishlakish. So we see it's like a kash and Rishlakish because Rishlakish is maintaining that <coughs> he can't just work for her for a day and then voila, they're married. He would have to give her a shavu pruta. Whereas over here, we just brought two brises where actually he could be mekadasher with, you know, <clears throat> by providing value, by giving her a, a donkey ride, by uh, doing a little dance. <clears throat> so, Amalach Rishlakish, Rishlakish will respond, look, hi, Tana Bara Savre, and the that this brise, as I was kind of trying to tie into it, <clears throat> this brisa that says, for example, <clears throat> be just to me in exchange for the fact that I will give you a donkey ride. So, ain't, so that, and we say mikudeshes, that's because that brisa, the Tana assumes ain't the schir that that the 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 value that is being paid does not accrue throughout the the uh, the work. <clears throat> it is only paid entirely at the end. And therefore, if in advance you kind of stipulate that it's going to be waived, and that will be the case of Kedushin, so that works. Vitana didon sover, whereas our Tana that um, says, you know, Amanas uh, under the condition that I'll do work for you for a day. So, Yesh no Lesgirus Matchil of Adsov, our Tana assumes that Yesh no Lesgirus Matchil of Adsov, that the, there is a bill that accrues throughout, and therefore it's basically a loan. That is uh, accumulating, and, and therefore you can't be mekadesh bimilve. My duchke the rish lokish the hook made the masnisin biyesh no l'schirus mitchile vaatzof of dioyevlo. How come rish lokish needs to go out of his way to say that our mishnah is talking about <sighs> where right yesh no l'schirus mitchile vaatzof that well it would be like there's a loan that's that's accumulating. Throughout the, the, the day as he's doing his work, and that's a problem because it's Makadish Bemilve, therefore it must be that he actually gave her a Shavaputa first. Why does he have to go out of his way? Why not just say it like the Brysa that Aina Lishir is Elu Levasof and he didn't give her a Shavaputa? So on my Rove <coughs> says Rove, Masnishan Kshise. Because Rishlakish was feeling conflicted and troubled by the wording of our Mishnah. My Iri Dutani Al Minas. Nisnei b'schar. Why does our Mishnah say al minas under the condition that? Why not say like in the Brisa says b'schar as reward for right in lieu of payment for me working for you for a day? Be mukudash just for me. Why doesn't he say that? Instead he says al minas. Now the Shmamina called al minas echaduyav lohu. Rather, we're saying that when it says al minas under the condition that. So, so that means, so whenever it says Amanas under the condition, it means that he gave her a Pruta. As we've seen plenty of examples in the past, right? That he gives her a Pruta and he says, Hariyam Mekudeshisli, Amanas under the condition that I do some work for you. And then the Mekudeshis, if he does the work, right? So it's talking about that he gives her a Shavu Pruta and then he says, I'm giving you the Shavu Pruta and I'm being Mekadesh you under the condition that, you know, I uh, work for you for a day or something like that. Okay, so because it says Amanas, <sighs> that is why um, Rishlakish assumed that he gave a Shavu Puta. Man, I'm telling you, I'm exhausted. How long is this? It wasn't, that wasn't short. Interesting. It wasn't that much Gemara, but I, I didn't think it would take that long to do it, actually. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm like a little bit exhausted because I, you know, I, I got the schnuffles, as you can hear. Um, and um, ah, I just want this to move a little faster. <coughs> got schnuffles, got cough, you know. 
Uh, hopefully I won't lose my voice, but it would be great if his stuff moved just a little bit faster, but and <clears throat> we'll see. New Mishnah. Amanasha Yirtse Abo. Okay. On the condition that my father will be down. Will 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 want. Rotsa Ab Mukadeshis look Vim Lava in Mukadeshis. If the father wants, then she's Mukadeshis. If not, not. Meaning it's talking about where a fellow is Mukadesh a fella, and the fellow says, Look, I'm being Mukadesh you, but I need to check in with my father first. If my father's on board, we're married. If he ain't on board, we ain't married. Okay, so again, so I'm gonna ask you to Abba, that a fellow is Mukadesh a fellow under the condition that his father is on board. If the father <coughs> was on board and he wanted his son to go ahead with the Kiddushin, so then she's Mikudesh. But if the father is not on board, not Mikudesh, right? The, the, the son had said, he's being Mikadesh under the condition that his father is on board. His father is not on board. Ain't Mikudesh. Mesa of, what if the father dies? And now we don't know. So I raise the Mikudeshis, she is married. She's Mikudeshis. Mesa Bain. If the son dies, right? The one who's Mikadesh or this fellow. <clears throat> so then we, te- we tell the father, Betsim, to say that he doesn't want the Kiddushin that way, the, right? Because he was only, the, the son was only Mikadesh, this fella, under the condition that the father's on board. The, fe- the fella now died. If they're married, she now has to worry about Yibum. If they were never married, she doesn't have to worry about Yibum. So <clears throat> we tell the father, hey, say that you didn't want them to be married in the first place, and by doing so, it <clears throat> means that they were never married, and then, you know, you avoid all, all these Yibum, poten- you know, potential Yibum situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to cough too loud into the microphone. Oh, man, I guess I'm feeling like all like kind of schnuffly, you know, but I hope it's kind of going away. I've, I've been having this like sore throat thing. For a while already. What, what, what's today? Today is Sunday. I think I've kind of had it since like maybe like Wednesday, and then someone's singing outside. And then um, I think I really only started getting the schnuffles about 24 hours ago. So you know, hopefully uh, the schnuffles will start to go away soon. Sounds like there's some vocal activity outside. All right. Now, says the Gemara, my almanas she'ir tzahaba. So what exactly does it mean that my father wants? Like, how, how is the father indicating that he wants? Meaning, if it means that I need my father to say, yes, I'm very happy about your, uh, you know, about this shidduch. You know, that he, mama, she says, yes. Same <laughs> but Then I'll mention the next uh, case in the Mishnah. What's the next case in the Mishnah? Mesa of, that if the father dies, Harezo Mikudashas, they're married. Valo Amr in. How could they just be married? The father never said yes. Right? I mean, if the son says, uh, that, you know, to this fella, Mikudashas sleep, but under the condition that my father says yes, and we're saying if the father dies, they're married, but the father died, he never said yes. So, Ella, Amanas, Sheyishtok Abo. Okay, so rather it's that. <coughs> The father keeps quiet. As long as my father keeps quiet, we'll be married. As long as my father keeps quiet, doesn't object, we'll be married. So then if the father dies, and he never objected, so Mimela, they're married. <coughs> Ema Sefa. But one second, what about the final clause in the Mishnah? Me Sabein, Malam Denisav Lomar Shenirotze. If the son dies, and now becomes a mess, because the son was the one who betrothed this fella, and now you have to worry about Yibum and all sorts of things. Well, Yibum. But Chalitza, you know, that whole thing. Um, so, so, so then it says that we, we, we teach the father to say, hey, you're not in, you know, that you're not interested in the, in, in, in the, in the Kiddushin. And that way they were never married. But the thing is, how can we just teach him to say he's not interested? He was already quiet. The whole, if we're saying, that if his father wants it, it means that his father didn't say anything. His father kept quiet, but his father did keep quiet, which means that it is good kiddushin. So how can we say that now we tell him to say he didn't want it? But he already kept quiet initially, and we're saying that by keeping quiet, he's indicating that he wants it, which means that they were already married. Right, so again, right, so, 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 from the top of the Amun, Amunashi Ishtok, 
Abba, name a Sefer, Mesa ben Milamdin Asav, Lomash and Erotza, Amai. How can we just teach him say he doesn't want to bow Shosik? But he was quiet initially. It's too late. Hello. Oh my law. Rather, he says to her, Amanas Shaloyimche Abba. Oh, no, rather means that my father doesn't uh, uh, protest. So meaning, as long as his father does not protest, so then they will be married. And we're saying if the father dies and he had never protested, so then they are married. Befrekti Gemara. Befrekti Gemara. Reisha b'chad taimu mitziyosu v'seva b'chad taimu? But I don't understand. So are you basically arguing that you know, there are three clauses in the Mishnah. Are you basically arguing the first clause is one reason and then the second and third clauses are a different reason? What are we talking about? The first clause, right, which is that Amanash Yir Tza'aba, right? The second clause is, well, what happens if the father dies? And the third clause is what happens if the son dies? So the, so the Reisha, the Reisha of our Mishnah, we're saying, is talking about that he, keep, right, right, that he keeps quiet. Right, so meaning... Right, if, if, if a fellow is Makadish a fellow, and he says under the condition that my father is interested, so if so we're going to say that, that means that he keeps quiet. As long as he keeps quiet, they are married. And if he does not keep quiet, and he says, no, I don't want this, so then they are not married. Now the next case of what happens if the father dies, so that's talking about under the condition that his father does not protest. The father did not protest when he was alive, so they're married. And then also in the final clause, that if the son dies, so we teach the father. We say, "Hey, protest, so that so that they're not married." Um, and then and then he protests, and then they are not uh, married. So, so 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 but so but frek the gemara though, right? <clears throat> so ratio b'chad taima. So are we saying that the that the ratio of the mishnah is one reason is uh, if you know that 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 he keeps quiet? But the Second clause and the third clause of the Mishnah are are, are, are an entirely different reason, which is that he, um, uh, he we're saying as long as he doesn't protest. So I'm Rabbiana in. Rabbiana says that's correct. That's correct. The Reisha is Amanash Sheyishtok, and the Sefer is Amanash Lo Yimche. Omar Rishlokish. So says Rishlokish. Mamina with Rabbiana. So we hear from Rabbiana. Dochakinon Mukminon Masnisin betray time of Ali b'Dechad. Tano, velo mukmina betray tanoi uvechad taimo. So says the shlokas. You see what we see from here? We see that it's preferable to say that the Mishnah is one Tana is the same author, but that the Reisha is talking about a different Mitzvah than the rest of the Mishnah. The Reisha is talking about Amanas sheyishtok, and the Sefer and the Mitzvahs and Sefer is talking about Amanas shelo yimche. Kila Rishlokish says it's preferable to say that the that the that the Mishnah is all the same Tana, even if it means that 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 different parts of the Mishnah are coming from a different place, or with having different theories to them, rather than just saying that there are two different Tanas. Look, there was one Tana who said the Reisha, there was a different Tana who said the Mitziasa and Seifa, the first Tana says, Amenashe Yishto, the second Tana says, Amenashe Yimche. So again, Rish Lakish is saying that it seems like we'd prefer to say that it's all one Tana with two different rationales, Rather than to say that this Mishnah is two separate Tanoim, but each Tana is just mentioning one rationale. Rav Yosef by Ami Omer says of Yosef Laolam Chad Taimahu says of Yosef Ami, you could actually explain the Mishnah in just one explanation. If you say that under the condition that my father wants, you know, is happy, wants, wants us to go to get married, means as long as he does not protest, but we give a time frame within 30 days. So if you, if you, if you explain the Mishnah like that, so then, um, you could just explain the entire Mishnah, right? If a fellow is Makadash a fellow and he says, I'll manas that my father is into it. So we say, look, he's got a 30 day window. If he doesn't protest within the 30 day window, they're married. If he does protest, they're not married. If the father dies, well, he never protested, so they're married. If the son dies, so then we tell him, uh, look, protest, you know, and then, and then, then they won't be married. So that is, um, that is how we explain, um, 
The Mishnah, you can explain it all based on that one reason. And now, for the third and final Mishnah of Daf Samach Gimel of Masech to Kiddushin. Kiddush is B'ti ven yodea l'mi Kiddush diyo. A father says, I married off my daughter, can't for the life of me remember to whom. Uvoechad v'omer, ani Kiddush diyo. Some uh, young fellow comes and says, ah, it was me. Naman, this young fellow is believed that it was him. Ze Omar, ani Kiddush diyo. But what if one young fellow comes up and says, It was me? And another fellow comes and says, It was me? So Shneim knows them get. Well, both of them then give a get because we don't know which guy uh, married her. So they both give a uh, get so that she can then marry somebody else. Now, if they want, one of them can give the get and then the other one. Can Betsim uh, marry her? Amar Rav Nemon liten get ve Nemon lichnos. So it says Rav that when the Mishnah says that if a father marries off his son, he can't for the uh, father marries off his daughter, he can't for the life of him uh, remember <coughs> to whom. One guy comes and says it was me. So the Mishnah says Nemon. He's believed. It says Rav, look, he's Nemon that right, that he needs to give her a get and he can give her a get. He's not Nemon to live happily after ever happily ever after with her. Right, so again, Omar Rav, says Rav, Nemon Litain get this fellow is believed that he can give her a get. Ve Nemon Lichnos, he's not believed to um you know actually marry her and live with her. Nemon Litain get he's believed to give her a get because Ain Adam Chote Vilolo we assume that a fellow is not going to sin if there's nothing in it for him, right? For this fellow to come up and say, it was me, I'm the one who betrothed her, let me give her a get. He gains absolutely nothing by doing that. So therefore we say, you know, if he's going to sin, what what's sin? The sin is that, well, if she's married to somebody else, him giving her a get is completely irrelevant, which doesn't change the fact that she's still in Asia Zish, she's going to end up marrying somebody else, and, you know, the children will be mamzerim and all that stuff. So he, with the assumption is that he's not going to give her a get which can lead to a you know bad situation if he's got nothing to gain from it. So therefore we can assume that it's him. Venemon Lichnos, but we don't believe him to actually marry her because Ema Yitzo Tokfo, because there there is something in it for him, and we might say that no, he was simply attracted to her, and that's why he volunteered. Rav Asi says that no, he's even believed to get married. And father says he marries, he married off his daughter. He can't remember to whom. Some guy comes up and says it was me. He's believed, and they can get married, and they can even live together. Umoda Rav Asi, but Rav Asi, however, admits beomeres niskadashti veeni yodas leminis kadashti. However, uh, Rav Asi admits that in a situation where it's not the father who's saying that he married off his daughter, but instead. She herself is saying that she accepted Kesef Kiddushin, that she herself accepted Kesef Kiddushin, but she can't remember to whom. And then one person came and said that it was him, She'ein Namon Lichnos. In that case, he is not believed. We'll explain why in a few minutes. Tanan, we learn in our Mishnah, Ratsu Echod. No sin get. Ve'echad. Kones. Alright, there's a conversation happening. Alright. So, Tanan. Ratsu echad no sin get ve'echad kones. So we had said in our, um, in our, um, Mishnah. That if there, if two people speak up and say that they were Mikadishir, so he said, well, one of them can give a get and the other one can mamish marry her and live with her. So it's Yuf to the Rab. That's a Kashan Rab who says at most he can give a get, but he can't actually marry her. But our mission seems to be saying that if there are two of them, one gives a get, but the other one can actually marry her. So there is a possibility of marriage. So, um, <coughs> like, Rab, Rab will respond to you, shiny awesome. That it's different when there are two people. Your two say he'll be nervous. What will he be nervous about? 
Because if we're talking about the father, that the father married off his daughter to one of these fellows, so he's going to be nervous that if it's not actually him, he's going to be nervous that the father is going to call him out for it. The father is going to be like, wait a second, no, I definitely know it was not you, right? So um, he's going to be kind of nervous to confront, not to confront, but to kind of, you know, go to the father and say, I was the one who married off your daughter. Uh, I was the one who married your daughter. And there's also another guy who said that he was the one who married. Like, he's going to be nervous, you know, the fact that if he didn't really do it, he would be uh, nervous, especially with another person who's saying that he uh, was Mikadishur. So he'll be nervous if he didn't actually do it. And therefore, when one of them um, uh, gives the get, we can assume, okay, he's the one who's not telling the truth. And the one who is not giving the get is actually the one who, who is telling the truth. Tanika will say, but if it was only one of them, then that wouldn't necessarily be the case. It's because there's another one which kind of like, you know, make, makes it a higher stakes situation if he didn't actually, wasn't actually Makadishur. You know, sort of going to the father who accepted the Kesef Kedushin and claiming to have, accept, you know, given the Kesef Kedushin if he didn't actually and there's somebody else who's claiming to have done it. Tanya Kavosi Dervasi, we have a price of supporting Dervasi. Kidashti is Biti, Venu del Mikidashtiya. A father says, I, was, I married off my daughter, I can't remember to whom. Uva Echor va Omar Kidashtiya, and one person comes and says, It was me, I was Mikadisher, Af Nemon Lichnos, so then he's even married, he's even believed that they can mamish get married. There you go. That's a support for Ravasi. That's what Ravasi says, he's believed that they can even get married. Now, Konsa, if they got married now, right, he claimed he was the one who married her, they got married, Uva Acher Vomer, now another fellow comes and says, Ani Kidashtiya, I was Makadishur, Lo Kole Menu, Lo Osa Olav. We can't believe this uh, second guy to ruin the, ma- you know, the first guy's marriage to this fella. Haisha Shomra, Niskadashti, Veni Yudas, Lemi Niskadashti, if a fella says, that I was uh, Mikudashas, and I can't remember to whom. And one person comes and says, It was me, I was Mikadashu. He is not believed for them to get married. Because she's going to cover for him. Right? Meaning, when it comes to um, the, the, um, the father, so. You know, if, um, or, or well, maybe let's start from the perspective of the daughter for a second, right? The, the, if the, if, if this girl says that I was Mikudashus and I can't remember to who, and then this person comes and says it was me, I was Mikudashu, that doesn't work because if now another person, if they then get married, now the person who is actually Mikudashur comes and says, you know, no, I was the one who was Mikudashu, well, she, in order to avoid a mess, she might just say, like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I accept the Kiddushin to this first guy. Just in order to, like, not get into a huge mess, it's just easier for her. She'll cover for the first guy, right? So the first guy comes, he's, you know, says, I was one who's Makadish. She says, all right, he looks like a good enough guy. Great, he'll accept it. So then even if the second guy comes and he was actually telling, the second guy's telling the truth, she's just going to cover up for the first guy. Whereas the, the father won't do that, right? If he has reason to assume that it's the second guy, he's going to say, wait a second, the first guy w- w- was being dishonest, right? He has no interest in covering up. So therefore, that is why we, uh, with the father, we believe the person who says it was me, but not with the daughter, because the daughter would, right? Not if a woman says that, right, I, I was in Kodesh, by this person, because she would um, cover up for that for that person. Ibaidu, the Asakasha. Maul skol al yado. What about for skila, right? If a father says that is uh, that he was Makadish's daughter, he married off his daughter, so would she be considered a narim arasa? And that if uh, she, ha- you know, if she has an affair with somebody, then sechiyuv skila. So Rav Amar ain't so clean. Rav says no. We would not uh, stone based on the father saying that he married off his daughter alone, meaning without any witnesses. For Ravasi Amar so clean. Ravasi says we would. Give skila. Rav Amar ain't soklin. Rav says that we don't give skila. Ki emne rachmon alav. The isura liktar lo emne. 
when the father believe when the Torah says that we can believe the father, right? We say right by by Motzi Shemer it says there's beating us He says I, I gave my daughter to this fellow as 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 a wife. When the Torah believes him, it's liisura to say that she's married and that she can't marry anybody else because she's married to this person. She's a married woman, so he's believed for vis a vis that the ketal loemne, but he's not believed. Uh, that now she'll like, you know, have a chiyuv skila because of uh, what the father says. We don't believe the father alone for that. Ravasi Yomar Soklin, Ravasi says that we do stone because the kula milsa emne, rachmona, la'av, because we believe the father on all accounts, right? When the Torah says that we can believe the father, we can believe the father for everything, including skila. Am Ravasi says, Ravasi modino, but I believe, but I admit, that if she uh, by your own admittance says that I am uh, engaged, I am betrothed, um, she would not be stoned based on her own admittance. From Rav Asi, Sadidi, Mirafson, Igre. And says Rav Asi, look, you know, you may think that my, my opinion doesn't make any sense, that when the father, that, that based on the father, that when he says that I married off my daughter, we don't stone, well, we do stone based on that and yet when it comes to the daughter herself we don't stone you might think that that doesn't make any sense because if by the father we said that by the father if he says that he married off his daughter this guy comes and says it was to me and then we believe the guy and they can mamish get married which means that it sounds like when the father says that he married off his daughter it's not like a real kiddushin because if it was, if it was like mamish, a serious kiddushin, how could we simply trust this guy, random guy who comes along and says, oh, it was me? I mean, it's too high stakes. If it was like actual, like serious kiddushin, so then we would have to be concerned that it's not him, right? What if it isn't this guy? What if it was somebody else? She's an ish ish. So from the fact that when it's, uh, when the father says he marries off his daughter, and comes some guy and says, oh, it was me. We believe him. Sounds like we're being more lenient. We're not necessarily 100% sure that it was real Kiddushin anyways. Anyway, we don't take the Kiddushin so seriously. And yet, Ahmad Soklim, and yet we're saying that if, you know, that, 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 that we would stone her based on that. Malcolm Shim, but Lichnos, Ein Konis. When it comes to her, that if she says that, I received Kesef Kedushim, but I can't remember from who. And some guy comes along and says it was for me. It was says that it was from him. We don't believe him. We don't believe him. We don't believe him. We don't believe him. So it sounds like you can argue that it's because there, it's like full-blown Kedushim when she says that she accepted Kesef Kedushim. And we can't just trust this Shemendrik who says that it was him. Maybe it was somebody else. In which case, she's an Asia It's a problem. So, you know, didn't you Certainly there, there should be Skila. Veloi, but that's not really the case. Lav laav hemne rachmana lididei lo hemne. Look, the Torah, you know, uh, believes the father, not her. Therefore, when the father says that he married off his daughter, um, we believe him. We can also believe him. I guess to say, you know, when the guy comes to say that it was him, we can also believe that as well. And also, we believe for skila. But when it comes to her, we don't believe. I guess that. She's engaged and not to this fellow, and also she wouldn't be chayav eskila. Whereas if Chizda says that whether the father married her off, whether she says that she married herself off, there would not be chayav eskila. But if Chizda the time, if Chizda goes according to his reasoning, the Amr of Chizda says if Chizda benize ben teisha shanim v'yomechad bitizo ba'az gimel shanim v'yomechad. If a fellow says my son is nine years old in a day, which is the minimum age for halachic bia, where my daughter is three years old and a day, which is the minimum age for halachic bia for a girl. And, and then there was, you know, somebody slept with one of them who was not allowed to. So now on the korban, he would be believed based on his testimony that this person should have to bring a korban if it was bishogeg, but not for any kind of actual punishment. So we see that by the father's admittance alone, it's not enough for uh, onchin, and in our case, for Chiv Skilatani Kavasi Dir of Chizda, we have a Bryce supporting of Chizda, Benize, Ben Yud Gimel Shon of Yomechod, Bitizo, Bas Yud Be Shon of Yomechod. If a fellow says, My son is 13 in a day, or my daughter is 12 in a day, Nemon, Lenidarim, 
So he's believed in terms of if if they make a nether that it's an actual nether or a cherim or a hekdesh or right says that he's give his you know the, the value of himself or to somebody else. Well, the erich to the base mikdash have a low lemakos elonchim, but he would not be believed in terms of makos elonchim. Friends, that was after some chimul on mesech tikdush and open jabisah.